In this demo, we'll talk about the benefits and features of sidechain side capture um, as it applies to a CPA firm okay, and the scanning of client tax documents. There's several ways to process documents through the application. <clears throat> One is to actually use what we call routing sheets. So with routing sheets, we can actually split up client packets. We can use what's called a folder sheet, which is kind of a master sheet for the client. So on this particular folder sheet, you can see I've got a client ID, and then I've got a tax year that I can color in with a marker. So I can have these sheets pre-printed in the mailroom, fill them in as documents come in. And then the second sheet that we have here is uh, we can actually delineate the type of document and then a, a little more granular the exact um, type of document that we're scanning. So in this example you can see this is going to go into a federal folder and then it's uh, designated as a federal return. And we can customize these sheets depending on how you want things sorted um, in the folders when the process is complete. So I've got two of these uh, folder routing sheets and then behind the folder for certain for these clients I've actually got document sheets. Okay, So the software will take this in, split it up, automatically read the client, the type of document, and then file it into the correct folder with the right file name. So let's watch how that works. With the product I can click on my capture, go ahead and select the type of documents I'm processing, and then I can either pick them up from a network folder, so if I'm scanning these from a, a scanning copier, I can scan to a drop folder and process them. Or I could have a directly connected scanner that I can scan from as well. When I kick off the process, I can enter some information about the batch that I'm scanning. Click OK. And the product will import all the documents. As it imports the documents, it automatically splits them into client folders and then into separate document sets. And we'll talk a bit more about that when we get into the quality assurance module. When I click close batch, it's going to move through the indexing process. So in the indexing process, the product is going to automatically read those routing sheets and then apply information to each of the documents. So you can see that uh, when it's done, I can view my data in the quality assurance module. It'll show me the client ID, the tax year, the separator, and the divider value that's been populated automatically. Okay, And I can go from document to document. And each document is uh, designated as a row. And then I can switch to tree view. So when I go to tree view, you can see that I've got a nice, simple representation of the client ID folder and then if I dig down into um, into that folder you can see I've got the document and I can go through each of the pages and I've got it for two separate clients. All right. Now when I'm done with this process and I click my close batch uh, I can actually migrate these documents into network folders and it will automatically create or find the client folder and then the particular document type and rename the files. I'm not going to do that until we get to our next demonstration. Okay, So this is the first technique that we can use. In the second technique we use a combination of both the routing sheets for simplicity to color in the, uh, the boxes for the particular document type, but we take the first sheet a step further. So at the beginning of tax season we can actually create these client ID barcode sheets and we have a little utility built in the product that can automatically create these for you which has the client ID and the tax year embedded on them. Now uh, I've seen some firms get rather fancy and actually uh, put these on their organizer sheets as a cover sheet. So when I scan documents it will automatically know who the client is, what folder it goes to and what tax year it needs to go to. So in this case, we're going to get the same type of result, okay? but uh, these sheets don't need to be filled out. They're just pre-printed at the beginning of tax season, and uh, they wait for the client docs to come in and then scan them. So let's go ahead and take a peek at how that works. So if I select my uh, CPA barcode document type, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, the barcode batch. 
click OK. And you can see one difference here as the barcodes come in, it automatically reads and assigns data uh, based on the barcode that it reads on that cover sheet. So now if I click Done, click OK, it's going to go through the same indexing process, go through the same template, and I'm going to get all the same information here, okay? And it's all split up the same way. But now when I click Done, I've actually set up this to convert these documents into searchable PDF documents and output them into folders. And I'll show you the uh, entire result of the workflow process. So it's going to go through these documents that I've scanned. It's going to make them searchable PDFs. So now if you have to search the contents of the documents, you can actually point Adobe Reader at the file, okay, or, uh, or do a search if you have some other uh, search tool like um, eCopy Desktop or some type of document management system like Filebound. So if I open up my client folder, this is the end result of the process. What I told the software to do is create a client folder, and if the folder already exists, just drop the file in, create a tax year folder, create a, uh, what I call a separator folder, a divider folder, and then within that divider, what I want you to do is go ahead and rename the file tax year, client name, separator, divider. Okay, and it automatically builds these so the end result is a searchable PDF in a nice standardized uh, folder structure every time. That's the end of the demo. If you have any questions, you can contact your local reseller or uh, send a note to sales at sigen.com.